My name is Barbara Cahan, and I'm the daughter of Erwin Cahan, and also the publisher of the, this book. My dad, Erwin, wrote this book, Tending the Tree of Life, and uh, it's his memoir. So in the section I'm reading it is from his memoir. It's in the social work chapter, and uh, where he's talking about when he was part of the psychiatric uh, research in Saskatchewan, which was quite cutting edge, and one part of that was the experiments with uh, LSD. I'd take the LSD in a glass of water. I'd feel quite good at first, then I'd start feeling a little tense, then really tense. My throat and mouth felt dry. I felt that I couldn't walk. I found myself in these lovely scenes, changing colors, changing geometric patterns, and I felt a little annoyed at the people around me when they'd ask me questions. During the sessions, the faces of the people I was with kept changing, and sometimes they'd have a purple halo around them. When I got angry with them, the halo went away. One time they asked me about the meaning of the saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I got angry at them. I said, birds are supposed to fly free. You're not supposed to have them in your hands. Another time they asked me the size of things, for example, a matchbox that they showed me. Consistently, I estimated things a third smaller than they really were. Once they asked me to do a time test, they'd ring a bell and ask me to tell them when a minute was up. Sometimes I'd wait up to two or three minutes, sometimes only 20 seconds. They asked me why my time concept was off and I said, what's time anyway? I got into a big argument with them and they showed me the clock. I said, nonsense, that's not time, that's wheels and a bunch of gears. What is time, tell me? And they couldn't tell me, at least not to my satisfaction.